Oh. Didn't see you there. Howdy. My name's Sam Houston. You may recognize me from my cameo appearance in the Star of Destiny, now playing at the Bulk Bullet Texas State History Museum. Today I'm here to talk about the history of baseball in Texas. Now the first sport to arrive in Texas was, like many other states, baseball. And the game was popularized by Texan northern travelers that probably went to New York where it was most likely invented. In the late 1850s, the first team in Texas was established and it was called the Houston Baseball Club. The Civil War broke out and the team disbanded. The game was spread throughout hundreds of army camps and the game was brought back after the war ended. And soon after the war ended, amateur teams sprouted up like uh, blue bonnets. They were not organized, however, so we don't really know much about them. In the 1880s, teams started to scout for talent instead of just playing with what they had, which is what they had been doing. By 1887, Major League Baseball had been created, and they were traveling across the America playing these amateur teams. And the leagues grew at crazy paces. Soon there was the Texas League, the East Texas League, many leagues. Now I'm going to talk about college baseball, and college baseball is huge in Texas. There's many, many Division I schools that have successful programs. Among these teams are Texas A&M, Baylor, TCU, Rice, and Texas. Rice won the national championship in 2003. Texas has won five national championships, most recently in 2002 and 2005. Minor League Baseball is a huge part of Texas sports. There are five minor league teams in Texas. They are the AA Midland Rockhounds, the AA Frisco Rough Riders, the AA San Antonio Missions, the AA Corpus Christi Hooks, and the AAA Round Rock Express. The two best minor league ballparks in the state, and maybe even the nation, are those of the Express and the Hooks. The Hooks play at Whataburger Field in Corpus Christi, which has the theme of a field from the golden age of baseball. The Round Rock Express, owned by the same management as the Hooks, have a similar stadium. They play at Del Diamond, which can hold 14,000. That was a miscellaneous note. Well, let's move on. The stadiums are superb as well as the teams. Midland has won two Texas League championships. Frisco won the Texas League in 2004. The Missions have won 11 times. The Hooks won the league in 06 and 1958, and Round Rock won it once in 2001. There are two teams in Texas, as many of you probably know, the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros. Let's start with the Rangers. The Rangers were originally in Washington, D.C. and were called the Senators, but after many years of awful teams, they decided to move to Arlington and change their name to the Texas Rangers. They started playing in Arlington in 1972, but it wouldn't be until the 1990s when they went to the playoffs for the first time. In 1989, a man by the name of George W. Bush fought the Rangers. He changed the entire program. In 1996, the Rangers broke through and went to the playoffs for the first time. Unfortunately, they were knocked out in four games by the eventual champion, New York Yankees. This happened two more times, in 1998 and 1999. The other team in Texas, the Houston Astros, was originally called the Colt 45s, but in 1965, they changed their name to the Astros. Also in 1965, they moved to the Astronome, which was indoors for the first time in Major League history. It was called the eighth wonder of the world because of its massive ceiling and its capacity. In 1980, the Astros made the playoffs for the very first time, but they lost. In 1981, they made the playoffs again, but they lost. They made it again in 1986, and again, they lost. They made the playoffs again until 1997, when they won their division, but they were knocked out by the Atlanta Braves. They also won their division in 1998 and 1999, but they were knocked out by the Braves those two times as well. In 2000, they opened up their new ballpark called Enron Field, but it's now called Minute Maid Park for various reasons. The Astros didn't make it to the playoffs in the new home until 2004. 
During the offseason of 0304, they had picked up many key players, and they took them to the National Championship Series that year. Unfortunately, they lost. In the 0405 offseason, many of those key players signed with other teams. Looking Astros depleted. Their future looked pretty bleak, but somehow they still made it to the 2005 World Series, making them the first Texas team to make it to a World Series. They lost in four straight games, but nonetheless, it was a triumph for a fairly new ball club. In conclusion, baseball is America's national pastime, and Texas baseball is a prime example. You ever need me? Find me at the Bob Bullock Texas State History Museum. Thank you very much.